In this video, we're gonna give you five ways to crush Facebook ads. So if you like marketing, if you like business, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want me to draw more pictures like the pig, make sure you hit the bell button as well. I'm getting better at my drawing. So, you know, in one of the last videos, I was trying to draw a pig and I failed. So I had to redeem myself there. So there's the pig. Um, so let's talk about crushing Facebook ads. So number one, messenger ads. So messenger ads right now, a lot of marketers are taking advantage of it, but not a lot of people are using them to the extent that they can be used. So what you can do, you can have a messenger bot on your site and whenever people message it, you actually collect their information. So you can broadcast towards them using a tool like Mobile Monkey. You can use a tool like Many chat or chat fuel there's all these tools available to you and what you can do too when you're running messenger ads is you can collect their email address where you have their messenger subscriber you have their email address as well and then you, you also pixel them on your website so you have basically what we call the trifecta Number two is stories ads. So stories ads, Instagram stories, there's over hundreds of millions of people using Instagram. Facebook stories just came out recently. The costs are still very cheap on that as well. So if you wanna get in on stories, we've been running story ads for a while and the same story ads that I, I shot like a 15 second video in this office didn't require much production value and it works because people expect you to be shooting native to that where if a video is too well done, they kind of like, oh, it's an ad, I'm just gonna skip it, right? So. Take that into account, stories right now, it's underutilized, take advantage of it, whether it is Facebook stories or Instagram stories, those are good. Who knows what's gonna happen with uh, the other story formats. Um, so take a look at that. Number three is remarketing videos. So remarketing videos, it's simple. If someone visits a services page on your website and does not fill out a form, guess what? you can retarget them because they didn't take an action. They, 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 they had enough intent to show up on that page, but if they didn't take an action, retarget them because the costs are gonna be cheaper. This seems like basic, but sometimes people forget about this. Um, sometimes you're so much in the weeds that you forget about the basic stuff. All right, number four, take a look at your competitors. Go look at their Facebook page and then click on info and ads and you can actually see the ads that they're running and you're gonna get ideas. If they're continuing to run the same ad over and over, month in and month out, you know, a, they're stupid, B, they're doing a good job with that ad, okay? It's unlikely, if you respect them as a competitor, they're probably not stupid, so it's likely that that ad is working, all right? Number five, last but not least, plus there's more than this, um, maybe another time if you subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about it, uh, don't split the social shares. What I mean by that is a lot of times when you're running ads, the amateur mistake, this is still, I see this happen a lot. People will make an ad and they'll make 10 versions of it. The social kind of proof is being split. What I mean by that is, let's say I have uh, ad A over here. All right, so ad A, then we add B, right? Add C, and then this one has like plus 50 likes. This one has like 10 likes. This one has like, you know, uh, 20 likes, right? So that's 80 likes in total, but you're splitting it amongst the three. So what's happening is you're not getting it all consolidated into one area. The more social engagement you have on one ad, the more it's gonna show. Plus your cost per acquisition, your cost per clicks are actually gonna go down too. So your ads are gonna perform better. Because if you think about it, Facebook is a social platform. They wanna see social engagement at the end of the day. If you're not doing that, you're splitting it. Maybe you're doing 10 different ads and they all have like one like each. Guess what, you're not doing yourself any favors. You're being a stupido. Don't be a stupido. You follow this channel because you wanna be a smarto. Um, so make sure to leave a comment, guys. Let me know what you guys plan to do. Let me know what you think I'm missing in here. Let me know if you think I'm stupido. It's all good. Um, and don't forget to check out the next video and we'll see you tomorrow.